Hey guys, the objectives of this video are to discuss potential energy, kinetic energy, and conservation of mechanical energy. And we're also going to be looking at an example, and we're going to be solving uh, for certain parameters uh, using energy concepts that we would otherwise be um, using kinetics concepts to solve. And you'll see what that means in a bit. We'll start off by having a look at potential energy. So potential energy is defined as the capacity of an object to do work. Um, common types include gravitational potential energy and elastic potential energy. I'll just uh, talk a little bit about gravitational potential energy. So basically, this is uh, you can just imagine just picking up some kind of object off the ground. If you were to release that object, um, it would fall. And this um, basically, in the, the act of picking up the object, has given this um, object some kind of gravitational potential energy. So you've um, picked up the object and now it has a potential energy. So it has a potential to do work. So dropping that uh, will um, make the object actually do work. So you've given it some kind of potential energy. Uh, this is the same for elastic potential energy. So if you have some kind of a spring um, and you stretch it out, uh, you've given it some, you've basically there's some energy stored inside the spring. So if you let it go, it's gonna spring back and that is um, the release of some kind of energy which you've given. So again, you have just, you've stretched it out. There is some kind of energy stored inside the spring, which is, which we call uh, elastic potential energy. So some formulas which describe uh, gravitational potential energy. So gravitational potential energy, we, we call it uh, VG. So V with a um, subscript of G is equal to MGH. And M is the mass. 